I, having on Sunday night watched the film and television industry's three-hour party thrown by the Foreign Press Association, and that takes place about six weeks before the Motion Picture Academy's four-hour ceremony of gravita. I'll make a few guesses about certain likely Oscar winners. Best Picture, Avatar. Yes, Avatar. I'm sure that a lot of people will be wanting after Sunday night's uh, Globe ceremony to hear Jim Cameron do an entire acceptance speech in the Navi language. Best Actor, George Clooney, Up in the Air. George Clooney, at least in Up in the Air, qualifies as the, the new Cary Grant, and Vera Farmiga would certainly count as the new uh, Catherine Hepburn. So I'd say in spite of the Jeff Bridges uh, Golden Globe for Crazy Heart, uh, the Best Actor Oscar belongs to the Clune. Best Actress, Sandra Bullock, The Blind Side. Conservative Christians do want to uh, get some kind of respect from the media they love to hate, so it'll be Sandra Bullock for The Blind Side, and um, it'll also be the industry's way to uh, congratulate her for all the uh, non-critic, well, let me start that again, non artistic but uh, commercially remunerative uh, romantic comedies all the way from uh, While You Were Sleeping up to uh, this past summer's The Proposal and will, for the sake of uh, charity, leave out All About Steve, uh, which I didn't bother to see because I just thought, well, uh, Sandy's a little too old to be playing a Kristen Wiig role. Best Supporting Actor, Christoph Waltz uh, in Glorious Bastards, and he's won just about every other Critics Award plus the Globe. So, uh, yes, he's a lock for the Oscar, and uh, I would love to be a fly on the wall in a conversation between, say, Christoph Waltz and uh, Alan Rickman on what it's like to break into Hollywood and uh, find out that Hollywood basically wants you to uh, be the villain du jour for the next uh, two or three years of, uh, of your career. Best Supporting Actress, Monique Precious. It was a excellent performance, and I have uh, absolutely nothing uh, negative to say. She deserves it very, very much. Best Original Screenplay, 500 Days of Summer. It's clever. It wasn't uh, completely well executed, but it was clever. So it's the best original screenplay. Best Adapted Screenplay, Up in the Air, and um, since uh, Jason Reitman's highly unlikely to win Best Director, this is the way to honor him and the earlier writer, Sheldon Turner, I believe, and, you know, admire the uh, what the proponents of Up in the Air would say, well-made movie craftsmanship. Best Director, Catherine Bigelow, The Hurt Locker. One of the best films of the year, and uh, probably 
a personal best for her and uh, she deserves it uh, much more than Mr. Cameron and with Catherine Bigelow maybe some reassessment and uh, re-celebration of her career from uh, Near Dark on through uh, Blue Steel on through Strange Days uh, might get to take place uh, and definitely so. Best foreign film, The White Ribbon. It's uh, if it looked it's like uh, if Bergman had still been alive and had made a pre World War One film, uh, then he probably would have been up for this film uh, instead of uh, Michael Haneke. But um, anyway, White Ribbon. Looking forward to seeing it and. Um, I'm sure if uh, Bergman hadn't taken the title The Serpent's Egg uh, first, then maybe Haneke would have uh, certainly used it instead of the White Ribbon. So anyway, that's my rambling essay on uh, Academy Award likely winners, and uh, feel free to accept or dismiss it, uh, whichever, but anyway, that's all, and have a good day or night, uh, wherever you are. Thank you.